I want to give you an update if I can very, very quickly. Again, if you had an opportunity to see some of the gorgeous, gorgeous woolen goods that we've been offering throughout the day, uh, I want to show you something that's a little different. And every single year when you come, yes. I look forward to my purchase of the next woolen blanket. Uh, welcome back. How are you? Good to see you today. Dan. This is Karen Costello. Uh, I'm going to give you one of these. Indeed. I'll grab this one over mm -hmm. here. We've got lots and lots of colors. This is one of the biggest throws, blankets, that I've seen you do. This is 71 inches by 40. Right. And if you love woolen sweaters, what's not to love with a full woolen blanket? That's gorgeous. It is, and really part of it is, it's a patchwork uh -huh. of the different, you know, of many of the different Aran stitches. Which, by the way, made it much, much more difficult for you because you can't run this through a regular mill process well, indeed. of duplication. Absolutely, exactly. So our price on these is, I truly believe it to be amazing. We are under $100 right. and well under 100 We have easy pay availability. If you've got a, a Q card, you can put it on three easy pay payments. And the shipping and handling on this is just $5.50. These finally came into our inventory. We've got a new color that we're going to talk about. Every year, I buy one of your woolen blankets or yes, one of your you woolen rows, yes. and it goes in my den, the man yes. cave, and it becomes right. dad's sure. woolen. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. my blanket. Indeed, at least uh, for a year. That, yeah. That's gorgeous. So, and of course, it's made from merino wool, so it's very soft to handle. And very few blankets are throws in merino wool. Very because few. Because of the expense. Very few. Yep. Yes, indeed. And as I say, but so many people really like to have something that's, you know, very warm and very comfortable, yep. you know, for even, you know, next to skin. I mean, this, that's why our merino sweaters uh, sell so well. The same thing applies to the, uh, to the blankets as well. So, Kieran, this is the natural, obviously. That's the natural, indeed. Let, let me run through some colors here. Sure. What do I have here? So, that's the antique rose. Okay. Uh, it's an so to, yeah, an, to, the, by the way, the antique rose already is the most limited. Okay. And we have yeah. a few dozen of these, yeah. and that's it. It's a lovely color. And this is not just for display. You will curl up with this. You, it will warm you like a, yes, a indeed, Irish you know, you can, sweater. Yes, you can you throw will, it over your shoulders. You know, yes. you can almost wear it. You know, like a, uh, you know, like a wrap. Um, and of course, as I say, it's made from the merino wool. And of course, each of the stitches, um, you know, is deeply symbolic. So I mean, like for example, here we have the heart shape. Yep. And that, that's not the way one that you'd see very often in Aaron Nisware. And um, also, what you have uh, then over here is you have the diamond stitch. And of course, the diamond signifies success and wealth. Yep. And um, and then within it, the diamond. And we have every a, every panel is like that. Every panel has something right, a little yes. bit different. Well, what we have here, that's a very interesting stitch, this one that's uh, here. Gorgeous. This is a, that's a Celtic cross design. And from the Book of Kells. Certainly, yes. I think it is it will actually turn uh, maybe this down. way. Yeah, I apologize. Indeed. Yeah, no problem. And uh, so there you can there see it, it in greater definition. And, and so, they're big patchwork yes. areas. So yeah. this this is more than just warmth. This actually yes. tells the story of Ireland. Yes, it does. Like all Aaron Nisware does. Yep. Almost what's unique about this is the fact that um, I think there's maybe 20 different patches. Yes, I think it runs four across uh -huh. and five up. And uh, so 20 patches um, featuring so many different stitches. Karen, That's you, almost unique. You made it really tough on yourself. Well, we did, but we think it would be If it had been a us. basic weave, they could have done the entire blanket with one pattern and sure, be done with it. Indeed, but it wouldn't be the same. But, but every time you go to change a pattern, you've got to change yes. all of your workmanship, your skill set, etc. Yes, I you love do. the way in which it's bound and edged. Yes. Uh, you'll have this for a lifetime. There's that soft blue. And then, we're calling this, by the way, Mist Marl. That's right. And that, that, that yarn, there's only five dozen of that. It's not just blue. It's got a little bit of flex um, of, of no, white No, it's in. like, I mean, anybody that's familiar, say, with the west of Ireland on a misty day, okay. like over, looking out over the ocean. Where it this looks is like the kind, steam. Uh, you know, where it's almost very difficult to distinguish the yeah. sky from the sea. Yes. This is the kind of color, you know, the, oh, that's, that's the effect. Uh, like on the, the Cliffs of Moher. Uh, yeah, right indeed, exactly. So, and like here we is, again, that dusty rose. So that's right. we've got four colors for you to enjoy. They, they finally came back into the inventory. Out of all the pieces yeah. that you do, and you do gorgeous sweaters. And, Thank you. Uh, to be able to add this now to to home decor as well. It is. Is this much more difficult to do than a sweater would be? Um, no, what's really complicated really about this particular piece is the fact that, as you said yourself, with so many different patches, each um, okay. exhibiting a different stitch detail, sure, that complicates us uh, very considerably. But, but Kieran, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking also just in terms of, of manufacturing in dollars and cents, I think in that, that way. Yes. Merino wool is extraordinarily expensive right now. Merino wool is expensive. And we're talking about, uh, I could, how many sweaters could I make out of this much merino wool? 
um, it's a little bit difficult to define it in those kind of terms because okay. of the way because of it, it's a different construction, a different uh, production process. But you're looking probably at the equivalent of you know probably not less than three garments. And that's to me again. I think yeah. this represents one of the best values that we'll have all day. And please look at this because you will never be disappointed ever when you see this. Truly crafted in Ireland, yes. all merino wool. Yes. Uh, some oh, of my indeed. favorite Made. sweaters in the world indeed. have that tag. Kilronan. Well, of course, <laughs> in Kilronan, I mean, our company started off on the Aran Islands. Uh -huh. And, of course, at the Aran Islands is where Aran Nisper originated. This is where all these stitches were created for the 100 first time. 100%, and along the west coast of Ireland. So, I mean, everything here is 100% made in Ireland. Now, uh, every year again on St. Patrick's Day, I buy a woolen blanket from these folks. And it goes, it goes right. in my man cave, in my, my den area. Right. And it sits over the, either the back yeah. of the, the sofa sure. when I'm not using it. But when I, when I curl up on the sofa, it's Indeed. one of your blankets that right. I grab. Well, that's good to know. And my wife, my wife knows there's two things. Don't borrow my razor. Right. And don't take my woolen blankets. <laughs> <Okay>. Fantastic. <laughs> Those Very are about good. the only two rules I've sure. made in the house, okay? okay? In Very this good. soft, dusty rows, they yes. are almost, in fact, Karen, I'm going to take that one from you. Yes. We did just sell out. It will take us a year to get it back. The Miss Morrow. Yes. I'm taking this one from you too. Okay. That one okay. has sold out. Here is what's left. In this natural, there are 150 left. It's, is that all? In the soft green, yes. there's fewer than 200. Now here's a consideration. If you buy her, and I'm talking to the guys out there, if you buy her an Irish sweater and you get the size wrong, you sleep on the sofa. Indeed. You Good can't point. get a blanket size wrong. No, you can't. Right? Indeed. Because you can throw it over a couch, over yeah. an armchair, over a bed. Us married guys have to think yeah. of these Indeed. things. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> we both have the same experiences. <laughs> Pick them up. You will not be disappointed. That natural is gorgeous. That soft, soft green as well. Kira, we will see you again a little bit later Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Thank you, my Thank friend. Thank you, Dan. Good to be here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I need to update you again. Congratulations to those of you who picked them up. <laughs> Rachel's upset because the customers get a crack at this stuff before we do. Uh, they are completely gone at this point. Enjoy. Hey, so good morning to you. And it's just 8.32 and hello, top of the morning to you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we're looking at the gorgeous Amy and we've got Andrea in the background. A 231193 is what you're looking at, but frankly, the cardigan just stands out. Look at how gorgeous the scalloping detail is on that. And then kind of the marbled tonal buttons that you're seeing there. And then even all of the stitches tell a story. There aren't any pockets on this. It's completely streamlined. I love it. I think I'm wearing, you said the chambray. The chambray. I'm wearing the chambray. I can put the green on and I will in a second. I was wearing green all morning just to say top of the morning to you, Barry Cullen. <laughs> oh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, nice How to you see doing? you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So this is old home week because we finally get to see each other like once yeah. a year or actually a couple times a oh, year. Oh, that's right. Rosa Exactly. Well. Um, and Barry brings us the gorgeous Aaron Craft. And these are 100% merino wool and I got to just share with you that uh, I have on a short sleeve top so this is against my skin and it is so super soft that's the secret of merino wool it's got all of the great stuff that we love about wool meaning it keeps us warm but it also doesn't overheat us it's kind of temperate when we need it to be and then warm when we need it to be I but mean, it doesn't have any of the bad stuff which is the scratchiness sometimes if, if, if or the heaviness the, sometimes the wools, um, uh, this is this is a, a different a different a creature different altogether, deal. altogether. Um, they even said that Louis the 14th of France, the Emperor of France, used to have his underwear made. Underwear, out of exactly. Wool. 